Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Do you have tarps in your emergency supplies? There are so many uses for them, you need to be sure that you get some. If you don't have any, get something. Go to the dollar store, get a simple drop cloth. It's better than having nothing. Then as you have more time and more finances available for your prepping supplies, get some better ones. But don't say, oh, I'm going to save up money until next year and then I'm going to get them. Because if something happens tomorrow, you want to have at least something so that you can help prepare for emergencies and take care of your family if something happens. What if uh, you needed to build an emergency tent? What if you needed to make a poncho or a, brown, a ground cover because you had to be out of doors? What if you were in your house and you had a leak in your roof? You could fix it with a tarp. What if there was some kind of explosion or a tree came through your window? You could repair it with a tarp if you didn't have something else. If you had an injured person and you need to transport them, you could use a tarp for a makeshift carry thing like the olden days. What do they call them? A, a leader or something. You could cover your firewood with it. Have you thought about that? What if you had to start using all that firewood and then it was raining or snowing? You want to cover it over. And speaking of all that rain and snow, you could use the tarp to gather rainwater if you needed fresh water. You could just use it as a plain old blanket if you needed to get out of the weather and you didn't have time to build a tent or you were just freezing cold in your house. Put this around the outside of your blanket if you didn't have a space blanket. And uh, there are just lots of things. Suppose you had to carry things. You could make some kind of a backpack or a carrier out of a tarp and use it to use to carry cargo or whatever you would want to take. In addition to your tarps, you want to have a few other things that will make utilizing those things simpler. Do you have tape? If you had to cover over your window, you might want to use some duct tape or some thick kind of a book tape. What if you had to make a tent? Do you have any kind of paracord or string? Any kind of cords would work. Look around your house. I just looked around and these were the strings and ropes and things, bungee cords that I found just in my drawer. And uh, I want to make sure that I have something. And if I gather it all up and I have a cordage box or drawer, then I know in an emergency I can go and get some of that. Plus, if I don't have some in my car or my bug out bag, I can start looking at what I have, figure out what else I need, and get some of those things to make my task of taking care of my family easier. Prepare today. Get a few tarps. Gather up some cordage, string, tape, and know where they are so that in an emergency you can take care of yourself and your family. Leave me a comment on how you are preparing with tarps and uh, if you'd like to continue to receive tips and tricks from Alaska Granny, please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel. Have a wonderful day.